TIPS, T-I-P-S, which stands for Transjugular Intrahepatic Portosystemic Shunt. Now, patients who will need a procedure like this typically have cirrhosis and the portal vein, which is the vein that drains the intestines and the spleen into the liver, the portal vein becomes abnormally high in pressure and tries to find other ways of getting back to the heart and so therefore forms varicose veins in the abdomen. Those varicose veins can pop as they're traveling through the stomach and you can have bleeding varicose veins. Now in another situation, that abnormally high pressure in the portal vein can result in weeping of fluid into the abdomen, a condition that's called ascites, and that ascites can become overwhelming and have to be drained multiple times. So in those two situations when the patient has cirrhosis with portal hypertension and either has bleeding or has ascites problems, we can do a procedure called a, a TIPS procedure. And in that procedure, what we do is we establish a shunt in the liver that decompresses the portal vein. This used to be done with open surgery. It was called a portosystemic shunt, but that surgery was very dangerous and about half the patients died. And now we can do a minimally invasive procedure that accomplishes the same surgical goal, but in a minimally invasive fashion. What we do is with the patient laying on their back, we numb the skin over the jugular vein, we thread a little wire and catheter through the jugular vein and through the superior vena cava into the hepatic vein of the liver. And once we've established a position in there, we then, through some protective catheters, pass a relatively long needle through the liver and into the portal vein. Once we've gotten into the portal vein, we pass some wires and we angioplasty a tract open and we leave a stent in. A stent is a tubular metal mesh-like device and that stent will hold open the site that we angioplasty so that now you have a shunt in the liver that diverts the high pressure portal vein right through the liver into the low pressure hepatic vein. So basically you're decompressing the portal vein.